Hey guys, welcome to Goran Ramsey's Kitchen on the Majestic Bean channel. Now today is gonna be my first take on cooking in front of a camera and we're gonna have lots of fun because I will be making a coffee related dessert. This is my favorite and easiest coffee dessert recipe I know and it's basically just coffee crepes with a mocha cream cheese filling. First, let's start by talking about the ingredients we'll need for the crepes. I have 125 grams of white flour, 20 grams of softened butter, half tablespoon of salt, 260 grams of full cream milk, two eggs at room temperature, and we'll also need 80 grams of espresso. What I did with the espresso is pull two double shots using 20 grams in, 40 grams out. That will ensure we'll get a concentrated coffee flavor in the crepes and they'll just taste delicious. For the mocha cream cheese filling, we'll need three tablespoons of cream cheese, that's here, three tablespoons of Nutella, that's this one, and we'll need some more coffee, obviously. This time I'm gonna use 40 grams of espresso. So as I mentioned before, for the coffee, for the espresso today, I was using 20 grams in, 40 grams out, but you could use whichever recipe works for the beans you're using. Now let's talk about equipment as well. This is a fairly simple recipe and we're gonna need some fairly simple equipment as well. We'll need a sieve to sift the flour a big bowl for mixing the crepe batter, a pan, non-stick pan, that would be great. I'll put that on the stove. And now the important part, you need some sort of a mixing device. Now you could do it manually with a whisk. I have this hand mixer here that works well for me. In case you have a food processor or a blender, that should work as well. All you need to do is just put all the ingredients in there and just put it on mixing and that's about it. Let's start first by making the crepes. We'll start by sifting the flour. This is extremely important because this way the batter won't have any clumps. The batter is pretty soft. I'll just put that in there. We also need some softened butter later on for cooking the crepes. We'll put some salt in there. The recipe says for half a tablespoon, two eggs, and here I have 120 grams of espresso. So I'll put 80 for the crepes and 40 for the filling later on. So two thirds. Now when it comes to the milk, I'll add some now, like a third of it start mixing until I get a thick batter and then we'll slowly add the rest of the milk. This is what we have so far. So it's getting pretty thick. Now I'm gonna slowly start adding more of the milk. As you can see, it's not too thick. This consistency of the batter is gonna help us get those nice thin crepes because nobody likes thick crepes. If you like thick crepes, you should probably try pancakes instead. Alrighty, batter is done. Now we're gonna move on to making the filling. So as you can see, everything is nice and soft here. That's very important make it easier to mix the rest of the espresso. You can use as much coffee as you like. Make it strong, make it weak. You can use instant coffee, whatever you have. Although with instant coffee, it's gonna taste a bit too bitter, but look, this is gonna be dangerous. Alrighty, take two. 
gonna avoid a mess so we're gonna use a deeper vessel for mixing the filling All right. that looks pretty good I'm just gonna see if it's missing something I think a bit more Nutella would be nice I had three tablespoons of Nutella so I'm gonna put half more just to adjust the taste because the cream cheese might be a bit overpowering at the moment oh that tastes nice it's perfect now as you can see it's not too thick so it'll spread perfectly on the crepes it almost has the consistency of pudding and a nice mocha color I'd say and you can definitely taste the coffee as well the espresso I used for this recipe is delicious it's a naturally processed espresso blend that works very well uh, with milky drinks and it has tasting notes of milk chocolate berries and custard all right now what we're gonna do is set this aside and we're gonna basically just cook the crepes let's get in the kitchen alrighty so here we are now we're gonna start cooking the crepes I have a non-stick pan over here and this is the smallest part of the stovetop I'm gonna put it on this is high heat this is the lowest setting I'm just gonna put it slightly above the lowest setting and I'm gonna leave the pan to warm up while that's warming up I have a brush and some softened butter that we're gonna use in between every time we make a crepe I have the filling here in another bowl look at that it's beautiful and this is an interesting trick that I like to use when I'm doing crepes I just like to put the batter in a milk jug and then portion it like this so I'll be pouring the batter into a quarter cup that way we are having consistent sized crepes and also we're not creating a mess because we don't need to scoop it out of a vessel right so I think that makes more sense to me the batter is here I'll just give it a quick mix so this is how it looks like we don't want the pan very hot because that'll just scorch the crepe kind of want it warmish right? so it's getting there yeah this is it so it only took like two minutes maybe now what I'm gonna do is just apply a bit of butter not too much and now here comes the important part I think it's a better idea if you portion the crepes off the heat that way you don't start the cooking process as soon as the crepe hits the pan so this way swirl around like that so you get a nice even layer and then you put it on the heat the best way to know when to flip the crepe is when the edges are starting to come off from the pan let's see what we have Boop. the pan is not as hot as you think it is so it's very doable with hands I kind of like using my hands when I'm cooking so there we go that's one crepe done off the heat again So 
So out of the batter that I just made, you can get around 12 to 15 crepes, depending on how much you're pouring in the pan and also depending on the size of your pan as well. And also what we're gonna do now is basically I'll just make all of the crepes, fast forward, come back to the table, and we're just gonna plate it up and eat them all. So I'll see you in a second. Alrighty, so we're back. Crepes are done. I have one left here to spread the filling on and I have the rest in this other plate ready to eat. You can roll them up, you can make triangles out of it, I don't know, whatever shapes you like guys. To be honest, I don't even know what to do with these, you know, nothing fancy. This is a very simple recipe, so I don't see a point of decorating or doing like some fancy stuff like in a restaurant. Pretty, you know, pretty simple stuff. Uh, let's make the last one as a, a little trophy, trophy or whatever, the last crepe. You just spread the filling with a spoon like that and I'll just roll it up because this is how we used to have crepes back in the day when I was a little child. So that's it guys. That's all I have for this video. Please let me know if you enjoy videos like this one of me cooking stuff, coffee related, obviously. I'm also curious to know if you have a favorite coffee related dessert recipe or maybe a coffee related savory dish recipe. I don't know, who knows, maybe like a dry coffee rub for meat or whatever. Depending on what's your favorite coffee recipe, let us know in the comments below and we can have a friendly discussion about it. So if you enjoyed this video and you like the content we create, please consider clicking all the good buttons down below. So that way we stay in the graces of the YouTube AI gods. And with that being said, I'm gonna go and finish all of these crepes. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.